Aquaculture is a growing industry in the United States. Shellfish farming can provide a variety of benefits or ecosystem services within the marine environment. On shellfish farms around the country, growers use a variety of gear that protects their animals and reduces the farm's footprint. Many growers report seeing wild fish and other animals in and around their gear. My name is Mike Gilman, and I am co-owner of Indian River Shellfish, and we farm oysters in the Hamanassa River here in Madison, Connecticut. The ground that we were hoping to harvest oysters on was really soft. We decided that it would be best to grow oysters in aquaculture cages. Our cage is pretty much immediately created substrate and, and kind of these oyster reef structures, which definitely um, attract all sorts of marine life. We wanted to investigate what we were hearing from farmers, so we set out to study how aquaculture gear might be providing habitat for ecologically and economically important fish. In 2017, we set out with GoPro cameras to record underwater activity around oyster farms. And for comparison, we also placed GoPros on natural rock reefs in Long Island Sound. Partnering with shellfish growers, we've collected and analyzed over 1,600 hours of footage. The cameras revealed that aquaculture gear provides wild fish with a source of food, protection from predators, and refuge from currents. We've also observed courtship and reproductive activity, schooling or grouping of fish, and territorial and aggressive behavior. Our data indicate that fish abundance and behavior on oyster cages is similar to natural boulder habitats. And for species like black sea bass, scup, and tatog, we actually see more fish on farms than on certain natural habitats. The cages act much like an artificial reef adding structure to otherwise flat seafloor. To date, we've observed 21 different species around the oyster cages, including fish that commercial and recreational fishermen love to catch. We've seen fish of all sizes and life stages using the cages as habitat. In fact, the video shows that oyster farms may serve as a nursery for young fish. But we didn't stop at collecting video. We can also detect fish using traces of DNA they leave behind, called environmental DNA or eDNA. Using eDNA analysis in the lab, biologist Yuan Liu identified 42 fish species associated with shellfish farms and rock reefs. This complementary method helps us detect fish that are nocturnal, hiding in the cages, or blending in with the seafloor all of which make it challenging to catch them on video. Our findings confirm the anecdotal evidence from shellfish growers that aquaculture cages are attracting wild fish. And following our citizen science guide, growers are now collecting their own video and documenting the species using their farms as habitat. We're working with shellfish regulators to identify ways that this information can aid the permitting process for new and expanding shellfish farms. All this effort leads to greater understanding of the unintended but really cool benefits of shellfish aquaculture. <laughs>